All right, we're gonna do Andy's workout today after my grandfather Andy, who taught me so much about health, fitness, and life. And the three exercises that he did, which are the three exercises we are going to do today, push-ups, knuckle squats, and hinge hammer. So let's get going. We're gonna do a proper push-up. We wanna get started making sure that we're always pushing from the heart, meaning our hands are perpendicular to our heart, not too high, not too low. Whether you're doing a wall push-up, counter push-up, or floor push-up from the knees or toes, making sure that we are pushing from the heart. So let's get started. Let's get our hands a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. Okay, let's just kind of tighten up our butt, brace our abdominals a little bit, lower ourselves down, exhale, press away. All right, we're gonna learn how to do some knuckle squats. So we wanna start with our feet a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. Toes can be slightly flared out or straight ahead, as long as your knees are tracking over your first two toes, your big toe and your middle toe. We don't want the knees collapsing in and we don't want them going too far out. So just pay attention to that when we're doing the squat. And the squat is actually initiated with our hips, not our knees. So we wanna think about our butt sitting back into a pocket, just kind of below towards our heels and then coming back up. So the knuckle squat, we just have our hands kind of resting. And as we come down, try to keep our posture up nice and tall. Imagine yourself squatting down and uh, you, have, you can see your reflection in the mirror the entire time. And only going as low as you can go in the squat without any pain. If you can't quite touch the ground, that's fine. Don't reach by bending over. Just go as low as you can go. If you're having trouble with this, go ahead, put a chair behind you and uh, sit down, stand up out of a chair. As long as we're getting some work in those thighs, you're doing good stuff. All right, so we're gonna do the hinge hammer exercise. So we're gonna get our feet about hip width apart. We're gonna push our butt back, 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 feeling a nice stretch in the hamstrings. It's okay if there's a little bit of knee bend, that's fine. Um, as long as that back is nice and flat and we feel our weight distributed through our midfoot. Then I'm gonna take my hands together, clasp them together, make a little hammer. Okay, I'm just gonna raise them up as high as I can without pain and back down. And that's the hinge hammer exercise. Whew. 